G'day folks, we're here with Alan Gray out at Terrain Tamer in Melbourne. We've got my old BJ73 out here, which has been sitting unloved for the last three years out the front of my house under a tree. So it's time to get it back on the road. We've got to get it roadworthy. I brought it out here and the guys have been having a look at it. Alan, what's the prognosis? Yeah, so if you want me to start where the list, uh, the light switch is intermittent, doesn't work properly. Uh, that'll need to be changed. Uh, lights and globes need to be checked all around. There's cracked lenses and globes are out. Tailight lens cracked. Driving seat has just fallen out. I don't know, like it's like an ejection seat, but it hasn't got the charge under it yet. Yeah. Heater fan doesn't work, and that's part of roadway because of the demiss. Things like the per perishables, like all the brake hoses are crooked, they need to be replaced. Um, water bottle's cracked, clutch pedal rubber, accelerator cable is uh, <clears throat> not existent. <laughs> Front wheel bearings loose, uh, steering box is leaking. There's a lot of leaks. Rear main oil seal leaking. We might need another bigger yeah. card for this. <laughs> Transfer case are leaking, rear tail shaft, the spline's quite worn. Rear pinion bearings are loose. Uh, front anti rattle spring on one of the uh, calipers is missing. <clears throat> rear wheel bearings are loose, we'll have a look at those. Rear brake shoes and drums are crook. Yeah, so just a handbrake. Otherwise, well, we've got cobwebs on it too. Cobwebs, I've made sure there's no spiders in it. Oh, don't worry about so that. Some of our first. But yeah, this is the reason we come to train time. What they don't make to go on an old Land Cruiser isn't worth getting. You've got everything you need right here, ship them all around Australia, fantastic service. So we're back here at Terrain Tamer again, the guys have been working on the car for a few days now. All the rear brakes have been replaced, wheel bearings, that sort of stuff. Front ends all been rebuilt, new swivel hubs, wheel bearings there, brake lines have all been renewed. The diff's out, that's getting a Harrow B locker put into it right now. Uh, the transfer case is about to come out, that's got a leak in it, so it's another thing we've got to look at. And also the steering box is out, that was pouring oil out all over the place. So we'll fix all these oil leaks up so we can get a road with this difficult on it, get it back on the tracks. You can feel each of the little rollers, the rollers have actually brunelled or jammed into the cups, and this goes one, two, three, four. It's very important to get the right bearings for them, they've got the right taper on them, some people use that a cheaper bearing that the tape is not right yeah. and it brunelles very quickly. Okay, so we got the clutch master cylinder which was folding and clutch slow cylinder. Yep. Uh, then we pulled the gearbox out and uh, put a even clutch in it and machined the flow in. Uh, and then we terrain tamed the gearbox which is not as very good but a lot of the parts in there we've looked at that have failed in other vehicles and we've built these heavy duty units. So it's got an e-locker in the back, an electric um, Harrow e-locker. Yep. Uh, brilliant thing, don't need a compressor. Okay, All right, so let's, let's get it out on the test track and see yeah, how it goes. I don't know. Thanks. Right, that's good. Straight away driving out of the driveway there at Terrain Tamer, you can feel the gear shift is now much more positive after the overhaul of the five-speed manual box. It's, um, there used to be a bit of notchiness going first to second, and even on the four-wheel drive test track, you can feel that. So yeah, it's a much more positive shift in the box now. The steering wheel, you're not chasing it as much. Uh, it was a bit loose in the front end before, so we've rebuilt the swivel hubs up there, put new wheel bearings in, new spindles, and the new steering damper. So yeah, I'm not chasing that, it's not as loose. The column was a bit loose before too, so they've tightened all that up, which feels great. It's, yeah, new shocks are a bit stiffer than the old ones. The terrain tamer shocks are sort of firm without being too firm. You don't want it too hard in a leaf sprung vehicle like this because it'll throw you around all over the place but this is comfortable feels good still walk nicely on the test track so it's a pretty positive first impressions there a couple of little things they've done in the cabin here which um, just add to making everything nicer the fan switch for the air conditioning wasn't working properly so they've replaced the switch and the light switch for the, and the indicator switch was uh, playing up too the lights weren't switching on so they put a new one in straight away you feel the difference you, know, you, you turn the indicators and hey that's it feels new it's not uh, 400,000 k's old anymore so yeah all those little things which are going to make this truck much nicer to drive once we get it registered again out on the tracks hopefully up in the high country before the end of this season having the test track there at terrain tame is fantastic because we can see how everything worked before we got away from the place and yeah you felt the steering and suspension all felt tight again but on one spot in particular where you've got the uneven moguls, it got uh, front and rear diagonally opposed wheels off the ground and just you know, pull the car to a stop. But yeah, straight away flick the Harrow B locker in and you're going forward with no delay, no hesitation, just bang straight away, you're off again. That's gonna come in real handy when we get up in the mountains.